All right, everyone, how's it going? I just want to start off by thanking each and every one of you for getting me to 2,500 subscribers right here on YouTube. Thank you so much. My goal is uh, at the end of the year to try and get to 5,000. I don't know if that's possible, but it is only possible with your help. So if you enjoy JRPG, Dragon Quest, retro game, reviews, top 10 videos, podcasts, all that good stuff, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications to all. Helps the channel big time. This is my 2,500 subscriber celebration video. I wanted to take a look at some classic JRPGs that I recently played and fell in love with immediately. The classic Fantasy Star series. So let's take a look at those bad boys. Starting with Fantasy Star 1 on the Sega Master System. I do want to apologize, I sound a little nasally. That's because I've got allergies from hell this weekend, unfortunately. I'm going away for about a week and a half. So there won't be probably any new videos for a little while, so I really wanted to get this one out there. But anyways, let's take a look at Fantasy Star 1 on the Sega Master System. Now the version I played was the Sega Ages version on the Nintendo Switch. This version is fantastic and my recommended way to play the game because if you play the Switch version, it has auto-filling maps, and all the dungeons in this game are like first-person view, kind of like dungeon crawler classic maze types, kind of like Shining in the Darkness. But yeah, the uh, Switch version has an auto-filling map, so you don't have to draw your own maps, which is something I don't think many people would want to do nowadays. This game blew my mind, honestly, when I first played it uh, about a year or so ago. And uh, the reason being is look at how vibrant the colors are, how great the graphics are. There's interplanetary travel, like you're taking space shuttles between planets and stuff like that. Keep in mind, this game came out in Japan about two weeks after Final Fantasy 1 came out. If anyone's played the NES version of Final Fantasy 1, you too would be freaking out about how incredibly high quality Fantasy Star 1 is. It's just so good. The story itself is basically a girl's, I, I believe it's her brother, passes away from uh, an attack by basically the evil space empire. That's just kind of how this game goes. It's kind of like the whole Star Wars. In fact, some of the enemies look straight up like stormtroopers, which is fine. And she takes it upon herself to get revenge for her brother, and it ends up exploding into this giant multi-planet adventure. It's just a fantastic retro style NES era, dare I say Master System era JRPG. It's pretty basic. You go from town to town solving the town's issues, finding out new information on the Empire, and recruiting new people to your party. The party members are pretty unique. You've got a space cat, and you've got an ancient warrior that you end up kind of reviving, I guess and he joins your party and he's pretty badass. You get all sorts of vehicles to explore these planets with the typical JRPG system where you need to get like a specific item in order to progress further in the in the world map or in the story is here, but in this case it's usually yeah, you've got your classic items, but you also have vehicles. So once you unlock like a new vehicle, oh, all of a sudden I can traverse over this. This has a ton of different vehicles. It's got interplanetary space travel and uh, a fantastic soundtrack, might I add, with uh, great characters. Not the greatest character development, I'd say, but it's just a fantastic game that is way ahead of its time. I highly recommend you guys check it out. So next up is Fantasy Star 2, and this was the first one on the Sega Genesis. The Genesis would have been out not very long. Like the, I think the Genesis came out in like 1989 or something like that, at least here in North America. And the Genesis games weren't of that great of quality when the Genesis first came out. There was the odd banger, but for the most part, the games weren't that great. Fantasy Star 2 came out shortly into the life of the Genesis and was here to blow everyone's minds with what the next generation of JRPGs could look like. Some of the visuals were pretty damn good, but overall, I did not enjoy Fantasy Star 2. I think I played it for the first time earlier this year, and I was super hyped riding off the high of Fantasy Star 1, and it was just unbelievably inadequate compared to the first game. The grinding was atrocious. I am someone who loves classic JRPGs. I love grinding. And there, the grinding in this was abysmal. It was just way too much. 
you, you, uh, your party members were completely useless, and the dungeons. Let's talk about how bad those dungeons were. You've got these maps that are, like, just gigantic, and then there are also mazes on top of that. So it's like these gigantic open areas that also have mazes in them, and there's always multiple floors, and some of these floors will lead to other mazes that'll be blocked off, and it's just horrible. It was, it was terrible. I think I played it for about four hours and had to bail on the game. I've, I don't know too many JRPGs where I've actually done that. Like, there's, there's been JRPGs in the past that I wasn't too fond of, but ended up pushing through, if not to the very end, at least gave it, like, ten hours of gameplay before being like, yeah, I don't think I can do this. This game, I had to tap out at about four hours. I've been told by multiple people that it was, like, one of their favorite games from their childhood, but to me, nah, it was not good. I didn't like it at all, man. And it's a shame, because I love the first one so much, and I heard that there's some good story elements to this one, but it's just, it, this just ain't it, dude. Uh, I will be doing a video, a top 10 video coming out soon, uh, talking about the top 10 games that aged terribly, and uh, Fantasy Star 2 is definitely in there. Anyways, sliding on into Fantasy Star 3. This one, people told me that this was like the worst of the series, and I was like, there's no way it can be worse than the second one. And uh, I will let you know I did play this on, I think it's the Sega Genesis Ultimate Collection on the PlayStation 4. So it's got a ton of classic Genesis games. I played it in this version because the walking speed in Fantasy Star 3 is really, really slow. But when you have the fast forward feature, I know the footage looks like crap because you're constantly using that fast forward feature. And this Genesis Collection adds like a VHS fast forward effect to it, unfortunately, when you use it. So it kind of looks like garbage. But it really helped with the uh, the progression in this game. It really helped with the pacing, for the most part. This game wasn't that bad. I don't know. People people hate it on this one. I don't know if I'd call it good. But it wasn't that bad. It's, it's like a 5.5 out of 10 game, I would probably say. It's called uh, Generations of Doom, I believe. And the whole thing is kind of like Dragon Quest V, but to a larger degree, you've got uh, different generations of your characters so you start off as one character and you almost play through his entire story you save kind of the world or defeat the big bad in his story and then he settles down you choose one of the female characters to settle down with and then there's a big time skip to say like 17 years later and you're playing as his son and so that character becomes the main character for the next big story and then that story goes on, and then you choose a female character to settle down with again, and then you play as their son. So that would be like the grandson of the original character that you started with. And this is cool because it adds a couple different endings. I think there's like four different endings or five different endings to the game if you were to play through it multiple times and choose the multiple brides to uh, marry and have kids with. But yeah, you can get a bunch of different stories. The combat in this, the combat system was a little different. A lot of people didn't like that about it either. I didn't mind it. It was a bit too auto battle but it wasn't too bad. The game wasn't difficult enough to uh, make this battle system hinder it in any way. It was an enjoying playthrough overall, I think. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't great. The monster designs were pretty weird. I like Moose, but other than that, uh, the game play was pretty dull. But it wasn't the worst the series has to offer. It was I finished it, played through completely, and uh, mostly enjoyed kind of my my playthrough there. Last but not least, in fact, last but best is Fantasy Star 4, and this game is fantastic. I would put this right up there with some of the best Super NES JRPGs, to be honest. I don't know if I would say it top something like Final Fantasy 4 or something like that, but I would say it's on par with like maybe Final Fantasy 5. It's pretty good. Final Fantasy 4, keep in mind, is like my tied as my favorite Final Fantasy game with Final Fantasy 9. So it has a fantastic story. There's a few really crazy twists thrown in there that really threw me off. I don't want to get into spoiler details, but yeah, there's there's some big twists in this one. The story does connect with uh, the first game for sure. It probably connects with the second game as well. But like I said, I didn't really play much of the second one because I hated it so much. But yeah, this one was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed Fantasy Star 4. I enjoyed all the characters, uh, particularly Ren, who uh, is a, basically a cyborg. You get an earlier model of him in the third game as well, and he was pretty badass in Fantasy Star 3, but he's uh, pretty cool in this one as well. Probably my biggest issue, I guess, with the series in general is that the final boss is pretty much the same guy all the time. Uh, it's not really that big of a spoiler because it's just 
kind of a meme at this point. But the but four really does close out the uh, the whole lore behind that villain. So that's pretty cool. You you get to see all the background, like how that villain came to be, why he keeps coming back, and there's there's a bit of closure there as well. But I would like to see them go back and make another classic uh, Fantasy Star game. Do a Fantasy Star 5. I'd love to see that. Have it in a separate system or something like that. Overall, they're kind of like this fantastic sci-fi romp through space, throughout a series of different planets, where you're helping out all these different towns, Kind of like Dragon Quest, how they've got, like, each town has its own little story. I wouldn't say it's as in-depth as the Dragon Quest series when it comes to having, like, multiple different stories and stuff like that. Overall, Fantasy Star Classic Series is fantastic. I would highly recommend Fantasy Star 1 and 4 to anyone and everyone who loves classic JRPGs. 4 is definitely the best. If I had to rank them, I would go 4 then one, then three, and then not playing a JRPG or a game ever again, and then Fantasy Star 2. Fantasy Star 2 was that bad, man. It was awful. I hated it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, look back at the classic Fantasy Star series. I hope you guys give these games a try, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all, so you won't miss the next one. Like I said, I'll be gone for about a week and a half here, so... Don't expect many videos for a little while, unfortunately. Thank you all so much for getting me to 2,500 subscribers here on YouTube. That means so much to me, you guys. You have no idea. And uh, I uh, I hope to see you guys when I'm back. I hope, uh, hope you guys enjoy my content. If you guys enjoy videos more like this, where I'm just kind of speaking from the heart and uh, giving a review off the cuff, let me know in the comments as well. I could do some more of these. The reason why I don't is because I always have issues with my webcam syncing up with my microphone for some reason. I'm not too sure why. If you know how to fix that, let me know in the comments as well. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.